How to remove duplicates in Excel. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a few different ways to remove duplicate data in your data sheets on Microsoft Excel. So you may be using the desktop version or you may be using the Office 365 online version. Whichever way you're going, I'm going to show you a few different ways so you can go ahead and use whichever way is best for you and most applicable. So without further ado, let us get straight into it. So as you can see over here, I have some data. This is just labeled company sales and we have name of the sales people. We also have the amount of sales that they've made. And then we also have a country that they've made those sales in. So as you can see over here, our data has a few duplicates in it. So if you go down over here, you will see that there is a Susan Bourne as well as a Susan Bourne. Then there is also a Smith Jackson and there is also a Smith Jackson over there. And then there is a George Clooney and another George Clooney. So we want to get rid of all of this duplicate data. You will also notice that the sales amount as well as the country is also exactly the same. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the first part of your table and you're going to select the entire table. Now you have a toolbar at the top and you're going to tap on data and this is what it'll look like on the online 365 version. You can now go and tap on remove duplicates and over here it has already recognized that this is in a table form. It has also recognized your headings and we can just go ahead and say OK. Now what it's going to do is it's going to tell you it's removed three duplicate values found and there are 10 remaining. We're going to say OK and you can see now that they have completely removed those duplicates. The next method we're going to use now, you will have to use within your desktop app. And I'll show you exactly what to do. So we're going to jump into our desktop app. We have the exact same data with those duplicates. Now, you're going to select a cell over here. And we are going to type in the equals sign. Then we are going to use a command. It's called unique. And it's a relatively new feature. And we are then going to hit it with an open bracket. Now you can go over to the left hand side and you are going to select your table. But the way in which you're going to select your table, you're going to hover your cursor over the corner of your table where you will see a diagonal arrow appear. And you're going to click on that. As you can see now, it says table one and it has been inserted over here. You can then put a closed bracket in over there and hit enter and now you will see that this information has been copied so you can now adjust your columns accordingly and you can now take this information and put it back into your main table if you would like to doing the same method on microsoft 365 doesn't actually work so if you do want to to try it here this is exactly what will happen so it will actually show up like this and when you're going over to your table you're going to select that and you're going to insert that close bracket once you hit enter actually the data is not converted without the duplicates the third and final method can only be done in the desktop app so you're going to see over here you've got your data still with the duplicates and we're going to tap on the data tab right at the bottom again and as you can see here you have a bunch of options now all the way on the left hand side you're going to see a get and transform data and now you can select any piece of data in your table and you're going to tap on the from table range or from existing sheet now it will take a few seconds just to generate in here and from here it's a very simple and straightforward step. We're going to go ahead and select the names column. We're going to hold in shift and we're going to select the country column and you can see now that all of this data is selected. We can now right click anywhere on this table and the options that you see here you will have to look for remove duplicates and once you've removed duplicates you can see that some duplicates were removed. Now to take this data and put it back on the sheet that you have taken the original data from, you will have to go over to the left hand side and there is a close and load. So you're going to just use that drop down menu and we're going to tap on close and load two. This will give us the option to put the data back on this sheet and 
into a cell that we want it. So we're going to go over onto this window and we're going to tap on existing worksheet and we can just erase that data and we can select the cell that we want it in. So we're going to select this cell over here. We're going to tap on OK. And now you will see that this external data is being imported back onto your main sheet. So we're going to just close this over here. Now you can see again that these duplicates were actually removed. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking to remove duplicate data in any one of your data sheets, there are three ways that you can do it. And this is inclusive on your Microsoft 365 account as well as your Microsoft desktop app, as you can see over here. And you can use the method that is appropriate for your needs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments section, and we will see you in another amazing video. Bye-bye for now.